Yes, lads, welcome back to the channel. So, um, you guys seem to be enjoying the content a lot, and we are so close to 1.6k subs. Uh, the goal is to get 2k by the end of the year. Whether we'll get that or not, it's entirely up to you boys. But yeah, uh, we've just bought a bunch, right? 41 sold. This was all yesterday, um, all Thursday. Uh, after the video I brought out, I just went ham and just, I got a load of Gretzkas, right? It was very cheap. I got loads, sold them all for a nice bit of profit. Um, Samada was in an SBC. We got two of Bamiangs. One's already sold for 220 uh, last night on a lazy buy, and we've got one up as well. Another one we've just had to put up. Um, and yeah, and apart from that, we still have an Abamyang to sell, a Delaney, three Florenzis, a couple of Dumfries that we've got on quite a good price. Um, 22, 22, 21. Got. Delaney for 65, which is alright. We've got Frenzy for 14, 15, and 14, 250. Now, I, I believe that these cards are out tomorrow or out today, out of packs. So they're only going to go up in value. I think Dumfries is good because he links with, you know, Wijnaldum, Van Dyke, players like that. So I do think he's going to do well. Frenzy as well, I do think this card hits like 18 at some point. Um, he's a very usable card. But Shadow on him is probably going to be one of the best right backs. So, uh, and he's quite close to his ones. He's not that close to his one torch. His one torch is like 10k more, which, um, yeah, I can kind of think that he's going to be closer to his one torch. I do think he rise near on nearer to the 20k mark. And Delaney, over time, this card's just going to cost more and more. I tracked everyone down that I um that I bought and sold. Not ev not everyone, um, because I bought some people on as at work, but. Uh, majority of the players, so without a Bamyang and stuff, everyone here is sold, right? Uh, absolutely everyone here. Now, we lost 37 coins on the Gretzka here. He had a shadow on him. He didn't sell for 16. I think I put him up for like 16.5. He didn't sell. I had to put him for 15.750. Apart from that, so as you can see, we've got um, Sagan here for 33. Flipped him for 35.750. That's 900 coins profit. Bala, uh, 1,400. That was one of them that we picked up. Luis Suarez picked up for 120, sold for 130, which is uh, 3,500 profit. As you can see, that Jordan Hederson was a popular one yesterday, so was Gretzka. Gretzka we made a killing on, as you can see here, 1,000, 1,005, 2,000. That one had four thingy on it, that one had 2k, 250, 3k, 1,9. And then the biggest one we made last uh, yesterday was Herrera. If you remember, I bought him for 356. I did mention that in the video yesterday, I did sell him for 440. Which is 62k tax. Uh, and then again, Gretzka's 900, 250, 450. And then we got a Suarez. We were kicking it off. We got a Suarez for 110 on a, on a snipe. And we're selling for 131, which is 14k profit. Uh, and then we also have these up here. But my, so my profit so far, as you can see here, my total purchase is 975,000. I sold it for 1.1 mil, 433. 400, 43,750, so 57k tax on that, which gives us uh, a profit of 111,000. So we made 111,000 coins yesterday. Okay, lads, so the first one is going to be Gretzka. Now, why I like Gretzka is I did explain, right? He's, he's just awesome, right? So uh, he he was yesterday, what, like 15? I was thinking I was selling him for like 15, 250 and stuff. Well, he's gone down a lot since then, uh, which is understandable, right? It's probably a lot of people's teams, probably a lot of sell-off going on. It's not even 14k. You can probably get rid of him for like 14, maybe 15 with a sniper on. For it. He's about 13,750, right? You can have go and bid on him, or you can snipe him. Now, what I would do, you've got to get him under that. That's profit, right? If you get him for 13k, it's still 63 coins profit, so you know you can't go wrong. Um, But you want to hit about 12... 5,500. Ah, uh, there you go. He had a shadow on him as well. I think it's probably because he had a shadow on he did go that fast. Uh, it's probably because people are looking for shadow cards. Uh, yeah, so that, that's a bit annoying. Okay, that's so if you can't find one, um, I think his price is going up. Now, I can, I've can i missed one or two on a bid. So I couldn't, yeah, 14. He's actually going up to 14,250, I believe, right? Uh, that's the price you're going to have to pay for him. Now, we'll keep an eye on his price just in case it does go up. Uh, so, 13, we're probably interested. If you can't find one, 
but always look on bids right because bids do work more than you think um and i'll prove it here because we did go out and bid on a few right so we we've, we've got we've got three in fact right for 12750 that's free that's 550 coins profit okay that's five that's 800 coins profit that's 800 coins profit the bidding does work and it's at this time as well you don't really get outbidded as much because they're always getting listed up now, if they're like 14k and people are known you're bidding 12 12 750 they're like nah there's no profit in it there is it's tiny amounts but when you're bidding for 12 5 and it's 800 card it's quite easy to do so okay now, so as you can see here we've put them onto the portfolio right? we've reset the portfolio everything's gone right you get a little chat down here which is cool um as you can see, 1,600 for 14k, 500. That's going to be about what 2,100 coins on them cards, which is you know happy days with. You can't moan that. I'm gonna go ahead and list them up now for 14,000. Uh, there you go. And that's kind of how I'm gonna track it all at the moment now. So I still have things selling that are um are not a part of this video. So we'll track everything that we do, and yeah, we'll go on from there. But once these have sold. I'll bring you to the next player. Okay, so the next one is uh, Casemiro. So he's about, I think, 29,000, uh, I want to say. Yeah, I'd say 29, right? Uh, you can either try and go 27. Uh, here, I try and snipe him for like 27. Again, it's just going to depend how busy the market is. Uh, if we go and have a look at the market here. Uh, it's not so busy, right, for me. It's not so busy, but on PlayStation and things like that, maybe at the time you're seeing this video, it could have picked up a little bit more. I can get on for 27. Uh, he does pop up a hell of a lot. I have got so many Casemiro's I've got for like 25 and 26, which I'm just holding out on. Uh, but here you go, 26. And uh, there you go, right? So 26,500. Now, I am going to go ahead and put them in the portfolio once again, so... Uh, 29,000, right? Happy days. I can, oh, here we go. Seven. There you go, boom. Now, he has got a centre mid on him. So, um, what I can do is, what do we get him for? 27, so I'm going to go ahead and put him in. 29,250. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put him up for 29,250. I think that's... Here we go, 27. Happy days. 27k, there's another one for 27k. Uh, we'll go ahead and put them up because his price is going up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and put them up for twenty nine two fifty. Uh, again, I go and put that into the. Um, I can. I got them for the same price as the last one, so I can just go ahead and just add another one onto the onto the auction. That's not bad. Uh, on two twenty five. That's what you want to see. Happy days, right? That is going to be. Uh, do we have for twenty five? That's going to be two thousand seven hundred coins profit right there. So. Okay, that's the next one is Edison. Um, he's about 46k, I believe. Um, yeah, he'd go for 46k. Some ain't going for 44, but if you um follow the channel, you'll know goalkeepers are really good to do. Um, so we'll go about 43. Because what happens is, as you, as you can see here, right? One ain't going for 34, which it will do, um, but people think it won't. So we've got that one there for 42. Now that's going to be... Um, so we've got to type in Edison actually, but what people think is one ain't going for 42, so they're going to undercut that one. Uh, when actually they'll go for 26, um, people don't realize that. So we've gone for 42, add that to the auction, and then I'll go ahead and put them up for 46. Happy days of that. It might take five, ten minutes for him to sell, but we should get our coins off him. Okay, that's what you're looking for. 40,500. That's what you're looking for right there. So we're going to go ahead uh, and type his type him in. So we've got one for 40,500. Add him to the auction. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put him up for um, 45,750. I'm going to put him up for. So that's all right. Here we go. 43. We'll take 43 as well. So ahead, we'll go and type in Edison. I'm going to put this one up for, we've got one there. I'm going to put them up for 46. 46,000. Going to add it. Oh no, sorry. But we'll edit that. I bought them for 43,000. 43,000. And that. I'll put them up for 
So uh, that's only 700 coins profit, right? Which is not the best. 40... Yeah, 46,000. Predicting, so like 42 here. 42, 250. 46k. Okay, so the next one is Jaden Sancho. Now it's about 17.5, 17, 17 You're looking at about 17.5, right? So if we say 17,500, you're looking at like 16.6. So you probably want to get him for like 16.250 to make it worth it. Uh, you can go ahead and like look at the bids on this guy. You can probably get him for like quite cheap on bids. So like 16k there, we can bid on that one. For about 6, here we go. Right, 16k. He is a right forward, he has got a hunter on him, so 17. So that one we got for 16k. I'm gonna go ahead and put him in. And again, that's just an easy amount of coins to make, right? Easy coins to make. Okay, and so Sandro's price has gone up a little bit. Um I think it's like 17,750. Yeah, 18k look. Um 17, 750. So yeah, his price. So you can adjust this price to about like 16, 250. But yeah, I mean, here we go. Ah, uh, no way. That's a really good bit of profit right there. Okay, guys. The next one we're gonna do is Juan Pesaka. Now he is, as you can see here, about 12. There you go. Pick that one up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he's about 12, 750. Now he does get bought for 12, 750. Let's have a look at 13. See what's going on there. You're looking at about 12,750. So if we're selling for 12,750, you're looking at about 12. Anything under that is going to be profit. So you're probably looking at like 11,5. Try and get one for that. They do pop up more than enough, but um, a bit competitive with this one. A lot of people are looking at this card. So we can go and sell them for 12,750. Okay, boys, we picked up another Wan Bissaka for 11,500. That's got a shadow on that. That's quite nice. What is he? 13k. Okay, we're going to go ahead and list them up for 12,750. Uh, and then I'll show absolutely everyone. That, well, everyone that we've bought is sold. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. I think we, we've been trading, yeah, for about 40. I'm not sure now. 42 minutes? It'll be about 45 minutes now, I I think. Uh, oh, don't muck up here, right? 12,750. Again, that's everyone we picked up is sold quite nicely. Um, as you can see, we picked up... Uh, we sold a Bamyang, so we actually picked up 14 cards and we made um, just under 20k, but we haven't even been training for an hour. It's been about 45 minutes. So that's actually all right. Now, as you can see, I've got a load of Benzema's for like 24, Casemiro's 25, Benzema 24. Just waiting for these cards. Got, now, I've got a max price of 50k, um, which and 40, which makes no... Uh, it's just stupid, right? What I'm thinking is they've done that so SPC Follow doesn't hit the roof like it did last year. But believe me, if icons actually... SPC icons come out and require an 89 and 88 rated teams, these cards are going to hit 50k. And they're just going to have to do the price. They're going to have to change them because there's no way these cards are going to be that kind of price. For You know, they never are. These cards always hit like 60, 70k potentially. So, yeah, I don't know why EA have done that. If they know they're bringing out Icon SBCs, I do not know why they've done a a, a max buyer now on a night 89 Benzema for 47k. When an 83 rated card can have like 100 to 200k on it. I, I don't make it puzzles me. Right, so as you can see, we've made 19,388 coins uh, profit, and we've our total purchase was 386,500. Our total sold was 427,250, which is 21k tax, uh, and yeah, 19,388. Now, you can even do that with an hour, and I'm just showing you that you could potentially make double that, right? If I just stuck doing. Casemiro's or Gretzka's or if I just stuck to doing one of these players like Gretzka was okay right we made like 550 coins on the Gretzka right not bad and that one we made 1600 on not bad but Casemiro seems to be really good right because his price we made 2500 on that one 2500 on this one 1500 on that one we made one two on that one uh and honestly guys like there 2100 1007 700 Edison's really good to do Ben Sancho 625, Edison 145, and what this gives you is kind of the best kind of cards to do. But Aaron Wan-Bissaka, you're only kind of making between like 
you know, we're making 612 coins a card, which more of them do come in than the goalkeepers and that, but or like Casemiro's, but Casemiro you're making like three times the amount, at two and a half k on one card. We flipped two and made five k, so we picked up three, four, picked up four. Yeah, that's two. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's nearly eight k on just four Casemiro's. I oh, know. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we picked up five. Not bad. Not bad at all. And um, yeah, that is going to be it for the video, guys. So if you did like, comment down below as well. And let me know you watched the whole video. That would be awesome as well. If you could subscribe, we're so good. Well, I think we're one away from 1.6k. So uh, we're trying to get 2k by the end of the year. Do that. That would be massive as well. So. Yeah, look after yourselves. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there will be one out tomorrow. Let me know in the comments down below kind of you know, training budget methods you want to see, uh, and I can help you out with that. But until next time.